All right, so this is a suggestion via donation. The name of the video is IQ Test in America's Dumbest Town. <laughs> Guys, uh, coming from uh, the channel Mind Squire. Let's check it out. How many sides are on a triangle? Five. Do you know what 10 times six is? It's two. If you can name one book, I will give you $1,000. You may think these- Not the one book. Questions are easy, but we are in Jackson, Mississippi, which has been named okay. the dumbest town in America. Jackson has the largest- Just Jackson, amount of going people on? With little or no education. But we ourselves dropped out of school to make funny YouTube videos. So does that automatically make us stupid? To find out, we- Maybe. Of across the country to put the people of Jackson through multiple tests to see if this city is actually dumb or are they just a victim of a stereotype? Let's and see. to start, we're just going to ask people some basic questions and see how they do. What's your name? They call me Lil Wayne. What's the farthest you went in school? I said I went to uh, eighth grade. I started in eighth grade. Who was the first? Bro, what's in your mouth? President of the United States. First president of the United States. It wasn't uh, Molly King, was it? Uh, yeah. Molly King. Okay. What's the biggest bird in the world? Like an owl. Name one book. What are you talking about? Just name a book. Just name any book. A book. Just name a book or something? Yeah. One book. Any, any kind of book. Any book, book literally to ever exist. You're gonna be all right. I can't even get a wild guess. I really just don't know. I just can't. Yeah. What is he saying? I, I really don't know. What's the biggest planet literally in the entire universe? That's easy. Well, I know it ain't Pluto, I said Mercury. Mercury, correct, yep. What happened on 9-11? I'm lost there. Who is the president of the United States? I don't know who that is. Oh, uh, John F. Kennedy? No. No. I don't know who the president is. What about 36 <laughs> divided by 6? Ooh, they're going to be 8. Is it Hey, oh, yeah. Hey, hey, yeah, man. You made me think like, man, I still know some stuff, man. Appreciate yeah. it, man. I think that was probably the most inspired we've ever left someone. We try to make more people feel smart later. But for now, we were on a mission to find out how dumb Jackson actually is. All right, listen. Please tell me you're like picking i don't know 20 people and then picking out the most ridiculous of them to put on a video and this is not like everyone you're encountering I mean, you should at least probably tell us in the description like hey listen we actually sampled 20 people and these are literally just the five that were the funniest what continent is england in uh england it's in uh uh damn uk what's the square root of 64 Ooh, I don't know. It's like over 100 degrees outside right now. We are all dripping in sweat. The cameras are overheating. This is unbearable. I'm about to pass out. As you guys can see, there's basically no one out here because it's so hot outside. So we're just going to interview anyone that we can find. What's the furthest education that you have? You're finding the people... Oh, you're finding the people that are uh, unhoused, sir. Um, not saying that that has anything to do with intelligence, but you're, you're specifically finding... People that are like, you know, hard up on their, their life currently. So hot outside. So we're just going to interview anyone that we can find. What's the furthest education that you have? I went here in Jackson. Then I went to Harbor. You went to Harvard? Yes, really? sir. All right. So just a few trivia questions we're asking people. What year is it? Uh, 2022, I think I was. Yeah, yep, yep. How many sides are on a triangle? Oh, man. What year is it? Come on. You just say <laughs> five. It's three, right. but yeah, close enough. What about the box? Oh, uh, true, I forgot about that. Name the president yeah, yeah. of the United States, and I'll give you $10. Donald Trump. Yep. Correct. There you go, man. I feel like we can somewhat relate to what, you know, the town that Jackson's gone through getting this, you know, stereotype. One of my uh, former co-workers, his name was Brian, he actually told me that I was an idiot for dropping out of college. Maybe today we'll find out if he was right. The first one of you guys to name three books, I'll give him 10 bucks. Any three books. Uh, I read, um, y'all haven't been reading? I haven't. It's just like now that he asked me the question, I don't even know the name so of the book. Uh, oh, oh my god. Um, dog, what's the other oh, book I, I just read? Diary of Whippy Key. Dog, okay. man. Okay. And, um, oh, no. Captain of the Pain. Hey, there you okay. go. That counts. What was your I mean, these are kitty. You know, I, I, I appreciate that. Name? John. What? My, my, uh, my five year old son is currently reading Dog Man. Captain of the Pain. Hey, there you go. That counts. What was your name? John. What brings you to Jackson, Mississippi? I went to Jackson State. What's like the highest you uh, went in school? Seventh. Why did you quit after seventh grade? Too much learning. How many planets are what? there? Nineteen. Which one? Nowadays, so many people say you don't need college to be successful. I do think you need education, not necessarily college education. You know, you can have education as a welder and support a family with that. Name one. Okay, so he's referring to like uh, getting some type of uh, 
secondary education. Like, I get that. Yeah, absolutely. You do not need college. I can tell you right now, I'm educated. Um, and I don't think I've ever really used my degree for anything. I have a master's in fine art. Um, but you're right. Education. You know, you can have education as a welder and support a family with that. What? Name absolutely. one Asian person. One Asian person? Point at him. What's your Einstein. name? Einstein? The education is more than just biology and literature. Right. You can learn a skill outside of the classroom. Absolutely. How do you spell right. Mississippi? M-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S -S -I -I. People are not doing correct very well on these basic questions so far. So I'm interested to see later when we ask people very hard questions how they do. Not only is Jadson the dumbest town in America, it's one of the fattest. It's the second most dangerous and it's like the least innovative. This is literally one of the worst towns in the country. It was too hot outside, so we're in Walmart now. It feels very good. We're gonna be asking people some questions from the show. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? And if people get a question right, they get a mystery prize. You go to school for 12 years. A box of cigarettes and a phone? But if you don't remember anything that you learned, then you know, what's the point? What is the largest ocean? Ocean in the world? Uh, Dead Sea? Close. It's the Pacific Ocean. The, yeah. The Dead Sea. Dead Sea's not even an ocean, I don't think. It's a it's a sea. <laughs> is Australia a continent or a country? It's a continent. It's a country. Continent, like 14 continents. It's 14 continents. Okay, so it's, what happened? It's a country. Country is the final answer? Yes. Australia is actually both. Oh, okay. There's currently a worker staring at us, so I think we're about to get kicked out. What is the capital of Saturn? <laughs> What? What's like the uh, highest education you got like in school? I have associate's degree. So you're pretty smart. Yeah. What is 14 times five? <laughs> uh, 200? Yes. Close, it's 70. Wow, yeah. this is embarrassing. What continent has the least amount of people? Maybe the East? Well, the East Continent. The East Continent? <laughs> if you can name right. one book author, we will give you a mystery prize. Brianna Williams. Oh, there's a mystery box. I'm going to open it and you can just choose your prize. Okay, none going to bite me, right? No, no, you can look in there. And I get to have it? Like, take it? Yeah, ready? yeah. No way. Huh? Oh, crap. No, that's my phone in there. Sorry. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> oh, wow. There's two cigarettes or uh, $20. I'll take them. Uh, people did not do well on these questions. We're staying another day here in Jackson, and we want to try to help change this town and get rid of the stereotype that everyone here is dumb. It's insanely hot, so we're going to go back okay. to the hotel. We're going to put our uh, college job at Minds together, and we're going to try to think of a way to make this town smarter. I've just been thinking, like, oh, what would Mr. Beast do? So I say tomorrow we, like, try to open up a school or something. Which one of you guys are sharing the bed? Uh, I'm not judging. I just want to know. Um... How did you decide? That's not possible. That's not possible. That is seriously the worst idea I've ever heard, and I think that you should give up as a human being. Let's just rebrand it into the smartest town. I say... So, wait, what were you, like, changing the town name to something? Like, Smartville? No, no. no, listen. I say that we just get a billboard. These people just need a little motivation. Think about Lil Wayne. I'm pretty sure we actually made him smarter. I think if we put a billboard up, it says that Jackson is the smartest city. Everyone will see that, and people will just instantly become smarter. What's funny is that, that uh, that's actually not silly, right? Like, if you have the ability to change the perception of what you think you actually are based off of, like, some positive affirmations, hey, that may actually be beneficial, right? It's I think it would be, like, mentally at least. Is that possible? I don't know how we pulled it off. I talked to a guy on the phone for, like, an hour last night, and we were able to buy a billboard that's going to be up later today. But before we go see it, we're going to continue our mission and go make people smarter. We're going to be giving away a lot of money in this segment, but later we're going to be giving away a ton of money. I think when people think that they're smart, they just instantly become smarter. For $20, who is the president of Argentina? Uh, Antonio Johnson. I don't know. I don't know. Bro, no, that was right. Yeah. Serious? Yeah, that was right. Well, there you go. How many Johnson? Bro. Johnson. Countries are in the world. Twelve. Twelve is actually correct. Cool. Who painted the Mona Lisa? Beethoven. That's correct. Beethoven. Can you name three of the twelve countries? I barely even know about countries. Doesn't matter. You can see yourself. You're you're like you're like twelve. That's pretty smart. Yeah, most definitely. Right. Which famous scientist came up with the theory of relativity? Man, you asked me the best question. Einstein. That actually is like the correct answer. There Man, you go. You don't have to go to college to be successful. We don't believe that. I mean, you're right. Uh, having a college degree necessarily makes you smarter than someone that doesn't. But that bias is exactly what caused Jackson to be. 
Guys, based off of like the entire video so far, I did not expect him to fully, first of all, understand the theory of relativity, along with understanding who Einstein was, not thinking that he was an Asian man. And you know, there was a lot going on here. Ain't the dumbest town in America. Now we're gonna do something pretty much impossible. If you can tell me how many Mike and Ikes are in this jar, I'll give you $40. Oh Lord. 300. 300. 50. 55. We didn't talk to you earlier, did we? No. No, that's right. <laughs> I didn't no. know that you would get it right. I really believe that the way you view the world has a big effect on your life. You know, if someone thinks they're really, really smart, they'll be more confident to pursue their bigger goals and dreams. Which is exactly why we were able to reserve a last minute billboard spot. We spent a lot of money on this, so, you know, hopefully it looks good. <laughs> All right, that is the sign right there. Oh, oh, bro, that actually looks perfect. Wow. The website said there's supposed to be like 50,000 people at least seen it this weekend. I don't know if you've seen the new billboard right there. We're trying to spark some motivation into the city here. We need it. Yeah. Most definitely. Even even though the marketing strategies that we've implemented today should be very successful, we want to make sure that we directly impact at least one person while we're here. It's time okay. for one final interview. Would you like to do a quick interview real quick? Oh, yeah. Okay. What do you do? Oh, I rap. Is that like where you're trying to become yeah. a rapper? Yeah. Please don't do that, sir. I've been rapping since high school. What keeps you going? Uh, oh, basically, I got a son, so I just had a baby. And I feel like everybody okay. should invest in, your, in they self and all right. dig deep into who they really are. That's literally the same for us because we all dropped out of that. college to pursue doing YouTube videos. Everyone thought we were stupid. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have a question to ask you. Okay. If you can name one book, I will give you $1,000. Uh, bud, not buddy. Book. There you go. There you go. This real? Yeah. Who the fuck y'all think I live, Mr. Beast? <laughs> Wow. So y'all ain't doing this for the camera, but I get the key. No, yeah, yeah this is this is yours. Hopefully I can help you out in any way. Like, y'all even trying to make me cry. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, appreciate that, though. No problem, yeah, bro. Bro, I needed this. I'm finna go subscribe. You got Instagram? Right. That's my username. They right, deleted bet. my account because I was uh, posting nudity. I think that ends our time here in Jets, and I'm glad we can make it the smartest town in America. Look at the video on the screen if you want to see another one That's of our funny wild. videos. All right, we got to go get the money back from that guy. <laughs> How many sides are on a triangle? <laughs> Guys, I mean, listen. I'm sure in 2024, this could be done in almost any city in America. It's going to be honest here. Uh, some of the questions are obviously way too, too simple, right? But um, I do think that if you do this in, even in Manhattan, uh, everything would kind of turn out the same way. Uh, we are just as a society, just, you know, uh, no longer really caring about education at that level any longer. And it's making us look absolutely ridiculous on the world stage. But um, America, I guess, right? You I mean, guys, we have to understand that we need to kind of, we can't fall behind that far in terms of education because then everyone else will beat us, guys. We can't just sit behind the, the concept of this is the United States of America. We're the best. We're not the best really any longer, guys. We're only number one in military spending that's it we need to we need to all collectively right rise up to the occasion right um but all right, listen you guys all have an absolutely amazing day enjoy your day thoroughly guys before we go are you guys subscribed to the other channels logical movie reviews with mr l boyd along with mr l boyd music both are found in the description check it out